بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد here we are at Twin Lake من فضل الله سبحانه وتعالى enjoying the benefits of Allah سبحانه وتعالى's creation And as we said countless times, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not created this as mere play and pleasure. But instead we should use these ayat to reflect upon the creation of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about his signs, about the ayat konia, the ayat konia, and the ayat, the signs of Allah or verses of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. In one context, you would refer to it as verses, meaning when you're talking about the verses of the Quran, the book of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the speech of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Kitabillah. Those are the ayat sharia. Those are the verses. Those are the signs, the Sharia signs, meaning the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning the Quran. And then, in relation to the ayat konia that refers to this, like this bee going from plant to plant, or flower to flower to pollinate. And that is the ayat konia. These are the ayat konia, meaning the ayat in, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation, which are there for us to reflect. And from amongst the ayat konia, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, affirming his worship and negating shirk. Again, many ayats in the Quran have both nafi wa ithbat. Nafi meaning the, the negation, the negation of shirk, for example. And ithbat, the affirmation, meaning the affirmation of tawheed. So, for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negates shirk and affirms Tawheed for himself in an ayat that refers to the ayat Koniya. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمْرِ لَا تَسْجِدُ لِلشَّمْسِ وَلَا لِلْقَمْرِ لَا تَسْجِدُ لِلشَّمْسِ وَلَا لِلْقَمْرِ وَاسْجِدُ لِلَّهِ أَلَّذِي خَلَقُهُنَّ إِن كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, في كتاب الكريم Women ayati al and from his signs is the day and the night. Women ayati al layl wa nahar. Washams wal kamar. And the sun and the moon. La tasjiruli Shems and do not prostrate yourselves, so don't make sajda to the sun. Wala lil qamr and not to the 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 moon. Wasjidu lillahi, make sajda, sujud to Allah. Allah the khalakuhunna. Allah subhanahu wa taala created even these fascinating plants. Look at these. These flowers, I've never seen flowers like this. Washidu lillahi aladhi khalakuhunna. Worship Allah or make sajda to Allah because sajda is an act of ibadah. Washidu lillahi aladhi khalakuhunna. The one who created all of this. In kuntum iyahu ta'abunu. If it is Him you truly worship. So if you want to worship anything or worship anyone, it should be to Allah because He's the one who created all this. And as Ibn Kathir said about the ayat, وَهُوَ مُسْتَحِقَ عَلَى خَالِقْ لِحَذِهِ الْأَشَاءِ هُوَ مُسْتَحِقَ لِلْعِبَادَةِ The creator of all of those things. هُوَ مُسْتَحِقَ لِلْعِبَادَةِ He is the 
the one who is truly worthy of worship. Subhanallah. Look at the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. And look at the way the ayat kawniya wa ayat shari'iya. How if we reflect upon that, that will gain nothing but benefit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was correct, uh, incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.